And the, it's coming. It, it is coming. You know, uh, we uh, the, all of the uh, Congress uh, swore off another big bank bailout, and they they said that Dodd Frank, that as you know, I had a lot to, to do with, uh, says that we can no longer have a big bank bailout. But here's the bottom line for all the the, the viewers: is that. Congress can change the law like that. Uh, they could say, yeah, I mean, if there was another default, they could do something. I'm not sure what that would be, but don't think for a minute that they will let major, whether or not it's the banks or the auto sector, they're not going to let them fail and the economy go down. But thinking about going to crypto is such an interesting and exciting it's, concept. It's a new kind of asset. So it's, it's a global asset that belongs to individuals and a mutable way to transfer and hold value and transfer it peer-to-peer uh, -peer anywhere else in the world outside the banking system. I mean, that's, that's extraordinary. If that had been around in 1933, the Great Depression wouldn't have lasted as long as it did. But it is around now. It just seems to me, going to these conferences, uh, that there is so much greater acceptance uh, the, the, the people in the, the kiosk here are, they're coming back as opposed to they were here, they didn't get funded, they're gone. Uh, but talk about acceptance of cryptos generally. Yeah, yeah. It, I would say the industry is a lot more stable now. I think 2018, it was a difficult time, but it was actually good for crypto in the end. Uh, because what you have here are the survivors in a way, but they're sophisticated, they're serious. I'm seeing a better quality of attendee than I've ever seen before and a level of excitement and serious. I mean, there was a lot of goofy stuff that was going on last year. I don't know if you came last year, but I mean, you can't believe the number of nutty pitches we were getting from, you know, it was clearly boom times. So in retrospect, it's so obvious now, but this year was very different. The, uh, the analogy that's been made in the past is uh, uh, to the dot-com boom, and uh, people talk about how much money was lost, but then they point out, on the other hand, that we've got all these great companies that are out there. So yeah, we did have to sort out the wheat from the chaff, uh, but it turned out to be good for entrepreneurs, for, for the economies around the world. Uh, it was transformative, right? I mean, uh, at the time, people were saying, oh, look, see, these dot-coms are never going to amount to anything. Three years later, you know, everything changed. And then, of course, now here we are where we are. All those dot-com companies that lost so much money in 2000 are now ruling the world. So, you know, history, economics is funny. You know, you, you think you know, you may not know. Jeffrey Tucker at the American Institute for Economic Research. What a pleasure to have you. And so this is a great interview. I'm so happy to share that with us because they're totally right. You really don't know. And what happened in 2017 and 18 uh, was obviously just funny money. And people there who kind of saw those crypto projects um, can relate that there was just a lot of bad crypto projects. The best one I can think of is BitConnect. And now all of that's been weeded out. And as you can look at the price, Although we're in a bear market still, uh, it has been much more stable than the uh, bull run that we saw. And uh, the future looks great. And um, depending on what happens with the Federal Reserve and the stock market, the opportunity for cryptos to rebound and to continue to, uh, in like the analogy they made, how the dot coms you know, crashed and then rebounded to kind of control uh, the, you know, to dominate the economy. The same thing could happen with cryptocurrencies, and that's what I am not going to put all my eggs into one basket, but I do own my crypto assets as a hedge, and also if there is another massive uh, bank failure, I do want to own some assets that are not tied to that Federal Reserve and funny money. But let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you soon.